Hello, I'm Audio. This is my glorious channel. This, this is Isoroku's route, and it's pretty, it gets pretty hectic, okay? You start to fight everybody, because Mori and Takeda both say fuck you and declare war on you. Because of what Oda's doing, basically. I mean, you saw in the last part, I don't think I talked about it, but, you know, Matanari had the dialogue with his daughters about, you know, would they be willing to do this shit with Rance? No. They would rather take it by force. They would rather take Oda clan by force. Um... So yeah, um, I'm gonna declare war on Takuya, and I'm still going after them before Mori and Takeda, so uh, I gotta replenish people, probably. Actually, let me look here. Um, yeah, yeah, let me replenish people, because being at war with everybody like this is gonna, you know, I'm gonna be using my units a lot, and I can't waste all my good units on a declaration of war, so I have to look here. I have to actually look and think about what I'm doing, which is just so bothersome, you know. Um, and Renmaru, there we go. Four people's a lot to send into a declaration of war, but that's what's happening. And this is when you're going to start seeing it. I'm pretty sure I've always, Takuga, I always see it with Takuga. Their main commanders, like Ryoma and Yuzura, on higher difficulties, they have massive troop sizes compared to the other groups. Um... None of the main four people from Takuga are really strong, you know? Like, you can deal with their units. The two warriors pull some bullshit on you once in a while, you know? So you gotta be careful of that, and I'll talk about it. And Gon can use the Fellow Troops Revenge, but... Otherwise, they're pretty... You know, Ryoma's a ninja, so... What the fuck? You know, they're not that bad, you can deal with them. Even when they have massive troop sizes, but... It's a little tricky, I mean... Suzume's maybe five times smaller than Ryoma, so if Suzume's out in the field and she gets hit by Ryoma, Suzume's fucking dead, okay? You know, that's just how it works. Um, Suzume's actually at seven out of seven affection, so I'm gonna do her thing here. Um, which you've seen, so I'll skip it. And I don't actually know what I'm giving her, so let me... Let me look. Let me think. Um, I'm not gonna give her Chun Chun Shuriken yet. I don't wanna give that to her just yet. Um, if you do a lot of dungeons, you should totally give Suzume Dungeon Scout. That's a great ability for her to have, because she's a good nin- Well, I guess I can go to most ninjas in the game, you know? You get a lot of powerful ninjas. Um, I will give her this. Mmm, not yet. No, I'd rather just upgrade her attack, but it's just... I'm getting owned. Okay, I'll just give her, um, speed luck? Speed luck, yes. That's fine. Um, and the first fight here is always a castle, and it's kind of hard. I don't want to get my ass whooped, so let me see what I can do here. Actually, I can probably take it. I can probably take it, and it'll be easy to hold. And I'm going to prioritize holding against Takuga as opposed to Takeda or Mori because of my circumstance. And because Ryoma's here... I'm tempted to throw a guard in the back. Well, I don't know. Let me scout, actually. I don't know if Ryoma's here. It's just that she usually is. Um, that's a lot of scout. Oh. Oh, dear. Um, yeah, I don't like this. I gotta think. No, I'm not gonna scout. I'm just gonna throw a guard in the back. Um, and Uruza can go, and Suzume can go, and another powerful unit up front. Where is Kenshin? There we go. That'll be fine. Just in case, you know, and Ryoma's there, and you can see her ridiculously huge troop size for the, for being at this stage in the game. That's really high. Um, I will hit this guy because he's not going to have a chance to re-guard, you know, before Kenshin and Rance can go, and they'll both one-shot the ninjas, and that's fine. But, uh, Ryoma's strong because of her huge size, and getting the attack boost is not good, so... I'll see what I can do there, and, you know, like like I said, I deployed a guard because I thought Ryoma would be here, and she is here, and that's that's why I have the guard in the back, you know, what the hell else? Um, yeah, but fortunately it's a weak deployment or I would be struggling here, like if they had gone and, I mean, the troop makeup here can be pretty varied, you know, it can be, uh, the two people I don't want to get their stats removed, get their stats removed, cool job. It can be the two warriors and Gon all in the front row, and 
they have troop sizes like Ryoma's, and that's pretty indomitable, you know? <laughs> Considering what I deployed, I wouldn't be able to deal with that, and I'm really glad I didn't have to deal with that. But, shit, I mean, Ryoma's bad enough. I mean, even now, this is going to be kind of close. You know, if that guard had put up a guard, I would be in a bad situation. But, uh, yeah, so. This is what you deal with on higher difficulties, and it's not like this is ridiculously hard to fight, you know? It's just that I moved along kind of fast, you know, I blew through the game kind of quick, so when I'm dealing with enemies that have sizes like this, it's not... It's not natural. You're supposed to have larger sizes than this at this point as well. I just didn't build up. And I'm realizing now that before I fight Moria or Takeda, I'm going to have to build up. I'm not going to be able to keep going here like this. Rude Awakening or whatever people like to say. Um, but I don't even think I'm going to win this, actually. Maybe if I can take out the attack. Well, I have one, two attacks. Yeah, Kenshin can commander charge that guy, I guess. Well, no, Urza can kill this fucker. And then Kenshin can take out the ninja, and I'll still probably lose. So that's how that goes. Um, hmm. Does it seem trivial not to include this in the video? Possibly. Hmm. But you got a taste of what it's like, what I'm dealing with. So I'll leave it in the video. How's that sound? Yeah. Then I'll move along here. Oh, fucking Takeda. Well, I don't need to defend against Takuga now because I didn't take any of their shit. So, we're going here. Um, I should scout. I won't scout. I'll just full deploy here. Both of my mages? Is that smart? I may as well scout. If I'm deploying like that. What the fuck, you know? Oh, that's totally easy. We'll take that shit out. Yeah, Takeda's not going to be an issue for a little while. I've got maybe five turns before I need to worry about Takeda. Once they start prepping for that blitz, I'm going to... I think I just blew it on my mic hard. Sorry. Um, let me see. Yeah, once they start prepping for the blitz... I mean, I can hold off the blitz if I've got Takuga in my army. I'm pretty sure about that. But I don't know if I'll do that for this playthrough. i got to think about it. I think I, I think I gave an opinion on that already, but... Oh, shit. As usual, I'm not like, oh, they got two monks, three monks, maybe one of them will have guard cancel. I just don't pay attention to it, because I'm dense. Whatever. Do that, give me some good shit. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of going with it. You know, kill their front row. Take a full hit from their diviner, who's a huge fat ass, so you know his skill's shit. This fucker up front, wasting all of my time. Making me do stuff like that, you know? I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Oh yeah, um, slow uploads lately, right? Thought I'd just mention that, I guess. Because I've, I, you know, I got slammed with, I'm part-time at my fucking job, but they decided to give me 40 hours three weeks in a row. That was cool. That was really awesome. So that's why I didn't record anything. Now you know. If you watched my videos as if it were my blog, now you know. So, what the fuck, you know? But that's what's up there. So yeah, plans in the game right now. Takuga. Maybe block the blitz. I don't know about that. Like, I'm confident that I'll block the blitz on a higher difficulty than default, you know? But, or default, whatever. However you want to say that word. Um, yeah. Oh, and I've been playing Skyrim a lot, too. That's a fun game. But, like, once you start playing it a lot, you start to realize that it has, like, no record, like, you know, you gotta, you, it has, like, no record value, like, because everything is so cookie-cutter and easy, but I don't know. Fuck you, talking to Jesus Christ, this is not even, this is one-star difficulty. Go up in higher difficulties and see how many times they'll attack you before the blitz. It's really fun. I should have defended here because... You know, Mori and Takuga are both going to be on my dick on that side of the map. Speaking of on my dick, even though Ryoma, you know, has her issue, or its issue, I guess, about being a hermaphrodite, considering that's how she was born, right? So you got to go with that. It's a curse that makes Ryoma hermaphrodite. Still hot. Look at Ryoma's belly, okay? Let me pause this fucking text. 
Look at her stomach. I'm calling her her because that's what I'll make her. You know, like. Is that spoilers? I don't know. Anyway. You know that Ryoma has both parts. You should know that. They hint at it in the Takuga text. And I said it in True Route, so that's how it goes. Ryoma has both parts. Deal with it. Ryoma is so hot. One of the hottest character designs in the game. Like, just the way the person's skin is. You know, like... I got a couple things. Let me go over them. Tummies are not usually hot. Ryoma has a beautiful stomach. I don't even know what that means. Or what it implies. But it's just the way it is, okay? And... Sometimes, women will have beautiful wrists. Does that make sense? Not like the underside of the wrist, just like the boniness of the wrist can be really attractive. Not like, oh, I'm rock hard now, you know, just like, I appreciate that aesthetically. Does that make sense? Probably not, but that's the way it is. That's how it is for me, but they're both really rare. No one in this game has beautiful wrists, because 2D wrists are not usually good. I mean, my wrists are are good wrists, but I'm a guy, so, you know, I'm not, like, attracted to my own wrists. Though I like looking at- I have beautiful hands, that's what I'm basically saying. Anyway, I'll recruit all four of these people. Um, both of the warriors are like Ranmaru, except they have an ability called Gamble Charge, and it's generally a good ability. Um, it lets them do really, really, really heavy damage. Occasionally, you know? It's like, a you know, it's an RNG thing. It does 50% the regular damage, or it does 250% the regular damage, which is cool. I mean, it is exactly what it is, and only those two siblings can have it. Um, you know. But I'll save some of the later abilities that can be gained and shit, because I plan on doing some stuff with their character clears. Um, if I can. I mean, that's all in... You know, for Ryoma, I have to have a Hojo territory, and that's difficult. So... You know. But yeah, um, obviously there are interactions with Matanari and Ryoma and Mori and Takuga because they're so close. Takuga took one of Mori's territories, you know. So. But Matanari mostly respects that. And even though Mori House is really strong, they can lose a lot of territory quick. If you remember, the Demon Army takes one of their territories when they spawn. Takuga takes another one of their territories. And if you take, um... Tanegashima and Akashi, Take, or Mo Mori is down to two territories, and they're still supposed to be really powerful. Um, you know, which is weird that they just auto lose so much shit, but whatever. They're still really hard. I'd put them harder than Takeda if you're attacking them. I'd say Mori is di more difficult than Takeda. Um, Takeda has a worse reputation amongst players who have played this game because of the Blitz. You know, usually people will play through True Route, Oh, Takeda Blitz, I'm fucking terrified. And then they don't play the game again, so they never experience Mori. Because Mori is always taken by the Demon Army in True Route, basically. If it's your first time playing, you're not interacting with Mori. You're just not doing it. I promise you that. So. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you're reading this, but it's it's interesting, so. I, I, I like these dialogues. But, uh, Ryoma really hates Matanari, mostly because of this dialogue. Um, yeah. She didn't really have a reason to hate him so much until after this. Uh, Yeah, so that's how that goes. But I like Ryoma. Um, Ryoma is, you know, like I said, all of these people are fairly average. Gon is a pretty good guard unit, mostly because there are a few guard units in the game. But, uh, I mean, he comes with decent stats. He's slow and he's got shit secondary stats. But, oh, and he only has three flags, which is not a good thing. So, I mean, that's worth saying, because three I consider to be, you know, always bad. Like, four, you've got a potentially good unit. Three, you notice it. I notice the fact that he has three. If I'm using a unit and it runs out of action flags in combat at any point in time, then I'm dealing with a unit that's not really good. That's how I look at it. 
But yeah, I mean, Takuga, because of the, the units here, it's like, I question what exactly you're supposed to do with them. I mean, or rather, what Alisoth expected you to do with them. I mean, they're not really good. Like, Kenshin and I are better than anything from Takuga, and you're almost guaranteed to deal with Usugi first, you know? So, it's just four average units. Are they here only because of the story? Are they here only because they're interesting? I mean, I'm interested enough in Takuga to go out of my way to get them, but some people aren't like that. Some people only want shit because it's good, and they'll just, you know, once they've experienced what Takuga has, be like, fuck that. They're not good. I'm not getting them again. And they feel like really early game units. Well, that's it to me. All right, skip this. Um, the Hotties have some unique interactions with Takuga, but I'm afraid that we won't be seeing any of that because I'm already at war with them. I haven't dealt with the Megawa yet. I haven't dealt with, uh, what is this? The Shinsegumi, those fucking idiots. I haven't dealt with them at all yet, so. Um, I don't think this is any different. Let me see. <laughs> uh, yeah, let me skip that shit. I don't think that's any different from True Route, and even if it is, fuck Kentaro. I don't, you know. Okay, I'll replenish my guys and then save in the video. I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. So I'll see you guys in the next part.